What's up? This your boy, DJ365. And before we get into it, I need y'all to hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell. And today, we're going to talk about Moneybag Yo. Listen, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I've been watching Moneybag Yo, and I don't want to say he comes up with a lot of gimmicks, but he do comes up with a lot of ways to get everybody talking. For instance, like the Money Bag Yo trending challenge. Like, he came up with the Money Bag Yo trending challenge. The song was doing good already, but it wasn't really hitting the charts. It wasn't until the trending challenge came out. And for those who don't know, the trending challenge came out a few months ago. Money Bag Yo got on Instagram and Twitter, and he said he dropped the beat. And he wanted all the artists to make a verse on the trending challenge. And he said he was going to pick a person, whoever won the trending challenge, he was going to give them a free verse. But anyway, like I said, a lot of people dropped the verse on their trending challenge, but nobody really heard who was the winner. It's been six, seven months, and now this is why I got to pull the real nigga analysis. I got to say, man, he really didn't want to pick anybody as a winner. But if I got to say who won the trending challenge, I got to say B.O. Lil' Kenny. Because he's like the only artist out of Memphis that got a free verse for money bag yo but check this out be your little kenny did do the trendy challenge but guess what he did money bag yo in the verse so how can a person get a free verse from somebody and they dissed you on your own song and i think i got the answer to that you know be your little kenny he your mob military and money bag yo he fuck with the young mob so when be your little kenny and money bag yo fell out you already know young mob immediately got behind be your little kenny because he's over all of that you know so when money bag yo did that shit man be your little kenny got the people to get on his ass like hard you know what i'm saying real hard you know what i'm saying coming to his show fucking his shows up they really told him like he really couldn't come back to memphis until they got this shit straightened out so they got it straightened out that's when you were seeing pictures of be your little kenny money bag yo hanging out on a bus out on bill street and he gave him a free verse so money bag yo gave be your little kenny a free verse to keep the killers off his ass he didn't want no problems man that was really telling him he couldn't really come back to memphis a lot of shit was going down for him he was already having trouble with finesse two times Rollo, he ain't really want no more problems out of Memphis, so he ran on the game, be your little kid in free verse, got the young mob off his ass. Wait, my money bag yo out here giving niggas that dissed him a free verse? Well, I guess for next two times when you get out of jail, man, you got a free verse waiting on you too. Because money bag yo is clearly working with people that dissed him. And that's the only way I can explain it. It seems like money bag yo can almost be squeezed into situations. Like that Rollo situation, for next two times situation, and now this one. So tell me what y'all think, man. Do you think money bag yo made a smart move working with a person that dissed him? And also, he actually signed to his label so tell me do you think that was a smart move money bag yo gave be a little kenny a free verse and signed it to his label just to keep him on hush or do you think man he just signed it because that was old news they made up for and now they rocking with each other tell me what y'all think this your boy dj365 cd news i'm out of here man yeah